Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. Continuing on with more of today's top stories and headlines. And one of the these stories is a very confusing one, a one that has people questioning a lot of the details surrounding the investigation. And it has to do with the investigation and the death of three Chiefs fans who were found dead in their friend's backyard. For the very latest on this investigation, let's bring in Fox's CB Cotton, who joins us live right now. CB, thanks so much for being here. Walk us through what we know and what new details have now come to light. Hi, Lexi. Well, you know, Calls, texts, Facebook messages, they all went unanswered for two days, according to loved ones who say they tried to track down Ricky Johnson, David Harrington, and Clayton McGinney. These three friends had all been hanging out with Jordan Willis at his home on the night of January 7th. Willis's attorney says his client saw his friends leave through the front door before going to bed. But get this, Lexi, for the next two days, Willis never noticed anything was wrong. I spoke with Willis's attorney who says these were his buddies, some close friends, and he says that if Willis, his client, had saw them outside, he would have, of course, ran to help. However, this attorney tells me his client slept in most of the day on Monday and didn't leave the house on Tuesday either because he works from home. So the victim's loved ones and a fifth friend, though, um, a fifth friend who had been inside that home, that night, they've all said Willis and his attorney keep changing their story about what actually happened, and they're hoping to find more answers soon with the autopsy and toxicology results, which are still pending. Now, I, get this, Lexi, Willis has since moved out of the home. Police have not made any arrest, and Kansas City police officers tell me they don't suspect foul play. This case is tragic, and it has a lot of people really uh, scratching their heads right now. Yeah, and in hearing just those uh, details there too, CB, it has me questioning a lot of the things with this, and I'm sure many viewers who are listening feel yeah. the same. So I want to ask you about that fifth friend that was there. Do we know anything more about that individual right now? So our Kansas City affiliate has done some really great reporting on this story. They followed it very, very closely. The reporter there uh, spoke with that fifth man over the phone, and they also spoke with that fifth man's attorney. He's now lawyered up and lawyered up, I should say. And uh, the attorney also echoing similar sentiments from the loved ones of the victims that the the story being shared by Willis out in the public eye is, is not how he remembers it. This fifth friend said uh, through his attorney that when he left the house that night, he recalled all four men, that would be Jordan Willis, Ricky Johnson, David Harrington, and Clayton McGin McGin McGinney. This fifth friend says he recalls all four of them being awake up watching Jeopardy. So that's the latest uh, detail or clue that we have learned from the attorney of this fifth man. In the autopsy results, when do you think we can expect to get that back to them? So Jordan Willis's attorney tells me he's been told uh, about a two week time frame period. We have reached out to the company which uh, provides autopsy results, conducts autopsies for Kansas City Police Department, and we're still waiting to hear back. But what we've heard from Jordan Willis's attorney is that he's expecting to get those results in about two weeks. And he also says he thinks it's going to shed some light on what may have happened. And one last question for you, CB, the friend whose house this all happened at, he is moving out or has moved out, as you said there. Do we know why? I mean, the circumstances surrounding this are already strange enough. Absolutely, they are. Uh, so his, that, that friend is Jordan Willis, and his attorney told me yesterday in an interview that his, his client moved out because... Um, of all the scrutiny surrounding the circumstances. Uh, he says his client, you know, he did nothing wrong that night, um, you know, went on to say that these three men were some of his closest friends and um, had he known they were in danger, he would have tried to help. But he said he, he's just been thrust into the public eye because of this case, it's been overwhelming. And so he decided to pack up and leave. And I think there's a lot more to watch with this story. It's, again, a lot of unanswered questions. People want to know more. And it's obviously very tragic for the, for the loved ones involved. We did speak with the loved one of one of the victims, uh, the father of Ricky Johnson, one of the victims. And um, 
The father tells me that his son leaves behind three children and they're just devastated. So this is really heartbreaking. It is. It's heartbreaking all around. All right, CB, thanks so much for that update. We'll continue to check in with you for the latest. We really appreciate you coming on today. Thanks, Lexi.